We are now tying Summer Steelhead, the chenille series, and we're going to throw in, the first one we're going to do is purple. My goodness, ever hear of a purple peril? Hmm, I wonder if this is related to that fly. I bet it is. So this is purple, this is small, trilobal, antron, chenille. Very nice, very bright, very fuzzy. Purple's a great color for summer steel. Very visible. That nice, thick. That's an authoritative body. How's that? That's another good. We've added authoritative to our list of nice qualities for steelhead. You know, I, I could apologize for not making these more complicated. I could put two or three different tags on them, throw a tail on it, two or three different body colors, under wings, over wings, toppings. You know what? Bees, flies, fish well. They ride really well in the water. Fish, eat them like popcorn in a movie. Your standard purple pearl would have perhaps a squirrel wing, which is great. They are very effective also. This is just an alternative. Mirage flashaboo, four strands, tied in about the length of the bend of the hook. I think this fly will penetrate the water surface a little bit more easily. I think it will swim a little truer than a fly with a heavier wing. So that's one of this pair, just plain purple. There's going to be the other one. Wow, red and black. So how many people remember the Juicy Bug <laughs> from the road? Red and black with a white wing. Well, this takes the body color and just puts on a black hackle. I used to tie these for some folks that fish that just shoots a lot. I had a summer steelhead on the North Umpqua do a cartwheel over one of these flies. He didn't take the fly, but he did a cartwheel. How can a fish do it? He's somersault, maybe. Fish don't have hands to do cartwheels. I was pretty excited, though. Still see it. It's funny how some of those memories of fish that we did not catch, I mean, there's things that I can't remember from school. Uh, there's all sorts of things I can't remember. Like, when is Thanksgiving? Here's what I can tell you. Thanksgiving is at a very inopportune time because it's, it's right at the height of fall Chinook season. But I remember that summer steelhead vaulting. There's my black hat going over this. Vaulting over that fly. I can see it right now. Middle of the afternoon, bright and sunny. Boom. There goes that fish. So each time with my scissors, I'm folding that hackle. Just puts a little crease in it. Makes it a little bit easier have the hackle point towards the back of the hook. It's a lot easier to just tie these hackles in by the butt and wind them and then wind over them to go back and that's perfectly fine functionally to do that. Just part of my style to like to do it this way. Mirage Flashaboo. If I 
add a nickel for every time I'm going to say Mirage Flashaboo today. I could buy a cup of coffee for the drive home. Chris is getting giddy over there. He has to listen to all this stuff. He's sort of a juicy bug, red-winged blackbird, too. Yes, I mean, it is. is. Yes, it is. Solid, solid. It's a killer.